are live. Welcome to Holy Ghost Day, and let us begin our day as we begin all things here at Holy Ghost Prep with a prayer led by Max Rittenmeyer. Good morning. Let us begin this day with grateful hearts, giving thanks for being together here at morning meeting. All together we pray in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, I do not know what will happen to me today. I only know that nothing will happen that was not foreseen by you and directed to my greater good for all eternity. I adore your holy and unfathomable plans and submit to them with all my heart for love of you, the Pope, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. From Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, as we begin this new day, we pray for the well-being of our church, our country, and the HEP community for the protection of the unborn and all the children at risk, for the special intention for an in case, increase of faith and tr to trust in the Lord to guide and protect us not to give up in fear, for those who are a victim of violence and hate, for the comfort of all who are suffering in body, mind, or so, especially those suffering terminal illness, for the repose of the souls of all the faithful departed, may they rest in the peace and joy of God, and for all the other intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we make our prayer this morning in the name of the Holy Trinity, your Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, make sure to vote for Ritt and Corbett for president and vice president. I had to sneak that in there. Gentlemen, I'm sorry for my overexcitement this morning, but it's been over 14 months since we've had a chance to gather as an entire school community. And I remember last April and May, as we were at our homes, one of the things that I missed the most was morning meetings. So it's great to be here. A lot of wonderful achievements have happened in the past year. We don't have a chance to celebrate every single one of them, but we thought, what better way to spend our time together than recognize the many things that have happened over the past year, and most recently, that you've achieved and members of our community have achieved. So to lead our morning meeting, two of your SGA leaders, a big round of applause for Justin Gabriel and Jake Merrick. How are we doing, boys? Can I, is it on? I don't think you're on, bro. How are we doing, boys? This is the first time the entire school is gathering since uh, last March. Uh, for the freshmen, it's the first time ever. Uh, that kind of that kind of sucks. <laughs> but all the classes are here today. Hey, all the classes are here today. The ACP Brethren is together. It's Holy Ghost Giving Day. I'd like to welcome all the parents and alumni on the stream uh, watching right now. Uh, today we're going to run through some announcements and also some of the most iconic morning meeting traditions. So first let me introduce a man who uh, got accepted into the University of Virginia applying out of state for context. That's, that's unheard of. They accept no one. Okay. Here is uh, Brian, uh, Justin Gabriel. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. And uh, while we're on the topic of congratulations, uh, Jake applied and got into the uh, Clown Conservatory in Woo! San Francisco, California, where he will be searching rigorously for a sense of humor. Let's all give him a round of applause. So this is the first time we've got all of the seniors and the freshmen together. This is actually the first time that the freshmen have been assembled at a morning meeting, so this is a really big moment for all of us here. Some of you might not be excited, but this is this is pretty cool, and we got us all out here, Pepperelli style. So it's time that we honor a very time-honored tradition here at Holy Ghost for the morning meetings. So, could I please have all the senior brother freshman pairs join me up at the front? That is, if you are a senior and you have a freshman brother, or you are a freshman with a senior brother, I need the seniors over here, and I need their freshman brothers over here. Freshmen are showing up weak, come on boys. 
I do have the names. Look at this. Look at how excited they are. Isn't this cute? So let me introduce... Dude, there's literally people in here who are not even <laughs> No, just like hug a, just hug a random <laughs> other... Let me introduce um, some of our fighters here. So we've got the Bronstein pair, Nicholas and senior Zach. The Shalon pair, Tom and his older brother, Daniel. Then we got the uh, Gala pair, freshman Albert and his older brother, Dominic. Then we got Zach Johnson and his not-so-little brother, Jeremy, who you might know better as Big Cat. Evan McGrogan and Connor McGrogan. Owen Pohl and EJ Pohl. Ilya Ruzik and legendary Isaac Rubis. And Connor DeLuca and his carbon copy, Jack DeLuca. Now we got like only four freshmen, so this is this is interesting. So um, when I say go, you have full permission to run at each other, deck each other, throw an elbow, throw a shoulder, level your brother. But at some point, hug him. Yeah, flying knee, that too, that works. Yeah, nice. So uh, can I get a whole school countdown on this? Three... Two, one, go! Yeah! Senior freshman hug! Yeah! The Brotherhood! So that went perfectly. Okay, with some athletic announcements, we got uh, Dr. Conlon, the big man himself. Here we go. Dr. Con. Good morning, brothers. Good morning. A few athletic announcements, if you need to adjust the camera, I understand. Um, I can stand down here if you want. Good? Few athletic announcements, boys. <clears throat> right now we're winding down the spring season for our ultimate teams, tennis, lacrosse, baseball, track and field, and rowing. Each of these teams have done a tremendous job this season. They're finishing up some games. Uh, the end of their season now, they're gearing up for district playoffs. Some of our teams have already participated in some district playoffs. And then hopefully we're going to qualify for some state tournaments as well. Big game this afternoon at home for baseball, playing Malvern Prep. Big game on Friday afternoon for the boys lacrosse team here at home, as well as baseball as well. So come on out. If you can't come here for the games, check it out on the live stream, please. Mr. Asani and Dr. Jiggs have done a tremendous job with the live stream. So um, you can also stay up to date. I'm just trying to keep up on the HTP website, the athletic website, as best I can. but. Games are changes on, changing on a daily basis. Every morning I'm getting emails and phone calls, canceling, rescheduling games. So the best place to check it out is on the HTP website. Um, also, a heartfelt congratulations and a thank you for this entire year, boys, for conducting yourself with class. Once again, I just heard a report from yesterday's lacrosse game, opponents not acting with great sportsmanship, being wise guys, talking a lot of smack, and not generally not being good sportsmen. I'm proud to stand here before you, and I know I speak for Mr. Garrison, Mr. Burke. We don't need to stoop to that level. So great job by you guys staying above that. We always want to conduct ourselves with class and honor as we're beating teams on the scoreboard as well. All right, so continue to do that. Continue to conduct yourself with class. I'm proud to stand here as your athletic director today, boys. Good work. <clears throat> On May 25th, about two weeks from now, actually two weeks from yesterday, we're going to hold our athletic recognition night out back or out front, however you look at it, underneath the tent. 
It is for all varsity, <clears throat> all varsity level athletes and senior parents to come be recognized. We have a lot of certificates, letters, awards, pens, a lot of stuff to give out. Okay, that's going to happen on May 25th out in the tent. I'll put reminders on Schoology as well, and we'll communicate that through Mr. Doherty as well coming up. So keep that in mind. Remind your parents, please, the night of May 25th, 6 to 8 o'clock. All right? Athletic recognition night. And then finally, as, <clears throat> as Mr. Burke said, this is the first time our whole school has been together. We had a tremendous and incredible feat happen this past winter, I believe in the beginning of March. Coach Tony Chapman, okay, won his 900th game at the high school level as head coach. Okay, to put that in perspective, he's only the sixth coach in this entire state to have ever done that. So 900 wins over his career span is a tremendous accomplishment. Give him a hand, please, Mr. Chapman. Great job, coach. And I'll hand it off to you guys. Have a great day, boys. Woo. See ya. I'll now introduce uh, the man who may or may not be responsible for the recent pipeline hack, Mr. Petkoff. That's all here, sir. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Good to see everybody. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about robotics. So we had an amazing robotics season this year. Um, despite virtual competitions, less competitions than normal, less matches than normal, we qualified five different robots. We, ha we have a team of about 30 students. Five different robots for the state championship. Upon getting to the state championship, we had our best performance ever to date in the four years that I've been coaching here. So we made it to the finals match of the state championship, effectively putting us in second place this year in the state of Pennsylvania. So big round of applause to all those guys. But, but it doesn't end there. It never ends. It doesn't end there because they scored so high and they are ranked so highly in the world out of the top 500 robots that we have two teams this year who will be moving on to compete at the world championship level next week. So I want to mention some of those guys. We have our A team, which is Andrew Zubik, AJ Olzak, and Chris Devlin, who will be competing at world. So round of applause for those guys. And our B team, who is Liam Barnes, uh, Dylan Wallace, Michael Gublo, and Gio Amoruso. So congrats to you guys as well. Well done, guys. So Worlds is next week, and you are actually all invited, because I forgot to mention, it's virtual this year. So instead of traveling down to Dallas, Texas, where hopefully we'll be heading on a flight there next season, uh, we will be just headed down to the field house. And so next week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the world championship matches, some of them virtually with our cameras around our field, will be set up in the field house. And so we formally invite all of you on any free periods you have, please come on down, sit in the bleachers, cheer the guys on. I know they'd really appreciate it. Uh, faculty and staff as well, students. Uh, we'll be taking video, I'll be posting it on Schoology, so there'll be a lot of announcements about it. But please, come down and cheer us on. It's a really unique opportunity in a very weird year like this. Um, and finally, if you're interested in joining the team, look on Schoology, we'll be sending some announcements out. If you'd like to be a part of an award-winning program that goes to world championships, just let me know. Woo! Have a good one, guys. Thank you, Mr. Petkoff. Good luck to the robotics boys. Real quick, if no one has checked in, if you haven't checked in yet, go see Mr. Chapman at some, some point in the back. Um, now with arts and music, I'd like to welcome Dr. T.J. Eckelberg himself, Mr. Gabriel, uh, Mr. Callahan, and Mrs. Charmella. All right, thank you. Uh, the art department's had a really busy year. We've participated in four local exhibitions. 
and we recently mounted the Fine Art Festival just last week. And uh, that really wouldn't have been possible without an outstanding crew, uh, our 12 members of the National Art Honor Society, who I'd like to name now. Ruben Aguilar, Dan Shalon, Mitchell Demler, Patrick France, Andrew Hansen, Kyle Incalingo, Michael Ketty, John Nieto, Nick Phillips, John Schroeder, Gavin Shoebrooks, and Luke Slavin. Now, the local exhibitions that we participated in this year were the Phillips Mill Youth Art Exhibit. Uh, our exhibiting artists were Dan Shalon, Mitch Demler, Andrew Hansen, and Nick Phillips. Uh, Andrew Hansen, by the way, brought home an honorable mention in the painting category. Really proud of him for that. And uh, we had 10 students this year participate in the Archdiocesan Student Art Exhibit. Those students are Cole Appledorn, Mitch Demler, Andrew Hansen, Brandon Fay, John Nieto, Logan Peterson, Nick Phillips, Dominic Rivera, Carlos Santiago Torres, and Dave Stolsteimer. And Cole Appledorn won first place in printmaking for his snowy egret. Our exhibiting artist at the Bucks County High School Art Exhibition this year was Mitchell Demler with his painting Jacob Wrestling the Angel. If you guys haven't seen that piece or any of your classmates' artwork, I welcome you guys to visit the art gallery. And uh, the last local exhibit we were a part of this year, it was actually our first time being accepted. It's a, a very prestigious and competitive exhibit. Uh, it's a very small exhibit at the Warren Eschrick Museum. Our exhibiting artists there were Dan Shalon, John Schroeder, Gavin Shoebrooks, and Luke Slavin. And just one last announcement, uh, our HGP Purchase Awards this year, uh, we had four artists chosen, and what that means is their artwork was selected and purchased by the school and will hang in our permanent collection forever. Those artists are Mitchell Demler, Andrew Hansen, Kyle Incalingo, and Nick Phillips. So big round of applause for those guys. Thanks, Mr. Gabriel. Hey, uh, if you don't know me, I'm Mr. Hallahan. I'm, I'm, uh, I was the new music director. Now I guess I am the music director. Uh, and uh, before, I just got a, a couple of some names. I mean, uh, congratulations to anybody I did meet, seniors. You know, you got a week and a half. So if you were uh, always wanting to learn the accordion or something, just go across the street, I'll be there, okay? One more week, you, you can do it, you never know. Uh, and if you're an underclassman, uh, you probably may not be traveling as much on campus next year, but you know, the music building's still gonna be over there. Uh, the, the, uh, the theater's still gonna be over there. You wanna get out your artistic talents, come over and pay us a visit. Let us, let us know what's going on. Uh, this year was, like you guys know with everything else, pretty, pretty wild and crazy. Uh, it was for music, it was pretty impossible uh, to get started with this year. And as things eased up a little bit, it got a little bit better. There's a couple of guys that were uh, recognized for all Catholics that I want to mention uh, because they don't get a lot of, uh, you may know some of them, but a lot of them are pretty quiet. They may not, uh, you know, in classes tell you what's going on. So for all Catholic orchestra, we had Christian Tufel and uh, Ian's Wall. All Catholic chorus, Dominic D. Francesco, Daniel Fitzpatrick, Corey Hectivert, Michael Ketty, Owen Smith, and all Catholic concert band, Thomas Flaro, Jonathan Pinkstone. Have a good rest of the year. Hi guys, so I am here to talk about the theater department and our season this year. Uh, this has been an unusual year, as you know. Uh, this is a time when professional theaters were closed. And we spent a lot of time trying to figure out how can we still bring theater to Holy Ghost Prep. And I think we did it in a, in a really interesting way. So in the fall, uh, we presented The Nightmares of Poe, but we filmed it, and we had these huge projection screen out on uh, the field out in Cornwells, and it's kind of like a picnic slash drive-in, so that was a lot of fun, uh, and I shout out to the cast and crew of that production, because that was unusual and, and a good time. Um, we also then had our musical, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, 
Uh, and it was a sold out show and despite the masks, it lived up to everything that we are used to with our musicals. Uh, it's an award winning program and we wanted to hold up that caliber. So we managed to do that, masks included, and put on a full scale musical in a time Woo! when most places are not doing that. As we wrap up our year, I'd like to give a special shout out to our graduating seniors uh, who will be going on next year to new and exciting things. So Michael Ketty, John Nieto, McGuire Cholette, and Kyle Stone. Congratulations and if you're interested in joining theater, we'll be holding auditions right when we get back to school. So, brief interruption here, because um, as big and lovable as Mr. Conlon is, he forgot a certain section of his agenda. So, we're going to give a quick shout out to the HEP crew team. Uh, this coming weekend, they're going to be competing in the Stokesbury Cup Regatta, which is the largest race in the country, so that's extremely impressive. Congrats, guys. And also, a few weekends ago, Stash and Joe won the city finals race here in Philadelphia, so a round of applause to the crew team. From here, I'll hand it off to Mrs. Doherty, who is going to talk about some of our academic achievements. Okay, okay. good morning, guys. A couple shout outs to the class of 2021. Um, as tough as the past, the past 18 months have been, you guys have been fantastic. And I just want to give you some accolades, share with you um, what you guys have accomplished as a group. So there's 125 of you. And we, you guys have a record of making $25 million in scholarships this year. That's a high number for us, so give yourselves a hand for that. So out of 125 of you, you are going to 60 different schools in 18 different states and 51 different cities. So that's pretty cool. We're excited for you guys. We'll miss you. Make sure you stay in touch. Um, and then the other thing I want to say is um, on Thursday is the Senior College Shirt Day. So don't forget to wear your shirt to school. And we're all going to meet. It's a different schedule because it's Ascension Thursday. But we're all going to meet down at the Field House at 1230. So um, bring your, you know, bring your, make sure you have your shirt. Bring yourself. Get down to the Field House as quickly as possible because we're going to do a, uh, a few different photos. Okay? Great. Thanks. Thank you, Mrs. Dougherty. Now, please give a warm welcome for the fresh prez of Ben Salem, Greggy G, Mr. President Garrison. Thanks very much, Jake. Good morning, guys. It's great to see all of you this morning. There are a group of guys that um, every year are what I would call unsung heroes. Uh, guys that you uh, might not necessarily notice, guys that are doing some uh, incredible things on behalf of the school and are worth recognizing. And there's a handful that we want to recognize this morning. So first and foremost, we've had a, a group of folks that have been very involved in all of the live streaming that we've been doing. One of the important live streaming aspects has been what we've done during masses on Sundays when the Archbishop was here. And I just want to give a shout out to the guys that have been all involved into those technical components and features. Uh, A.J. Olzak, Joe Warchall, Matthew Rockwell, Michael Brody Jr., and then of course, uh, Mr. Abramson. Let's, uh, so let's give them a nice round of applause. All, all of the folks that have also been involved with uh, the music aspects of those events as well. So especially Vin Lee, Dominic Di Francesco, and Profe Maria Lair Fortino. So congratulations to them as well, and thank you. And I know, I know that many of, uh, many of your parents and alumni and folks that might be on live streaming uh, watching this morning have benefited from the live streaming uh, shows that we've seen for all of the athletic events. And some of those events, I think, have just been incredible on live stream especially with some of the broadcasting that's been done by our students. Not just the video, but getting the, uh, 
the, uh, the voice and the live action communicated, I think, has been just wonderful. So a special shout out to those guys that have been involved in the athletic events live streaming, especially Dave Shapansky and Matthew Rockwell. Thanks so much. And, fi and finally, the last, the last two uh, to recognize uh, first an entire group, and this is a shout out to all of the facilities guys that have been setting up for all the different events that we've had throughout the year, the chairs, the tables, the cleaning up, the difficult weather situations, all of their responsiveness to make events like this and all the events we've had possible to all of our facility staff and crew. Let's give those guys a nice round of applause. And, and, and then last but certainly not least, uh, I think a, a, a mom to many of you and just an incredible person taking care of all of our health care needs. Let's hear it for Nurse Ann Bushick. Okay, guys, thanks very much. All you, Justin. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Garrison. For those members of the HEP family, alumni and parents joining us on the live stream, make sure you stick around after the assembly. Mr. Garrison will have some more announcements for you. Uh, a few more announcements. Um, one, freshman class, you guys stay behind after the meeting today, just for a little bit. Um, what was the other thing? Elections, also. SGA elections are now uh, starting. I don't think they're open yet, but we have all four campaigns running. They've produced some great videos. So make sure you check those out. Get an idea of who you want to vote for, and come next year, you guys are going to have a new senior vice president and president. And on top of that, I think we're done here, so I will have to introduce Mrs. Carmine to finish off every assembly the same way that we always have. She's not here, which means... Today is C-Day. Welcome to Holy Ghost Prep, and welcome to Holy Ghost Prep Day. Today we're going to spend some time talking about our past and honoring that, celebrating our present, and looking forward to the future. Let's, uh, let's wander a little bit on campus and we can talk. Alrighty, let's head out. Come on. Welcome to the Chapel of the Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit. As an alum, you know that Holy Ghost Prep is a mission-driven school. It defines who we are, what we do, and what we aspire to be. And nothing is more important to Holy Ghost Prep than our spirit and identity. In fact, during our strategic planning process, we've identified four strategic imperatives that we focus on as a school. Spiritan, collegiate, engaged, and unique gifts. And Spiritan is at the core of who we are and what we do. And some of the things that we're doing on campus are truly exciting and innovative and ways of bringing together the ideas of being open to the Spirit and at the same time seeing God in the everyday. So I think we have a great deal to share with you today, not only looking at our past, but celebrating our present and looking forward to the future. I think what we'll do is uh, take a walk and spend some time in our new STEM tower, an opportunity to see some chemistry in action, perhaps robotics and a few other things. And as we walk along, I thought we might uh, just give a wave and a hello to Mr. Jerry Colapinto, longtime faculty member, and as some of you know, will be retiring after 40 plus years at Holy Ghost Prep at the end of this year. So let's go.
so far so good this semester? Everything's great, yep. So what's, uh, what's happening here next? What's your next class? Only good calculus happens in this class. So uh, all the, uh, the best and the brightest will be in here. Should be, no, should be no surprise, I guess. It's always been that way. Yeah, pretty much. That's great. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks for letting us stop in and say hello. Sure. sure. Good luck with your classes today. Thanks, Jar. I thought we'd spend a little bit of time in the Brennan Family Innovation Center. It's the lower level of Holy Ghost Prep, and this entire column represents the stem tower of Holy Ghost. We have the Brennan Family Innovation Center at this level, and then as we go up through the building, we have two biology labs, two chemistry labs, and two physics labs to be in a position to have all of our science classrooms in a lab at all the times increases the touches that students have with science. And for us, that's critically important. That hands-on experience makes all the difference in the 21st century in terms of what people learn and in terms of how they do. Many of you may remember this as the library, the space where you came to study, take out books, maybe you'd have a snack during break. And some of you go so far back that this was actually your gymnasium. Well, now it's our art studio and art gallery. See what our students are doing today. And how, how is it working in the space? And oh, it's, it's just amazing. I mean, the, the open space, the, the natural light, the high ceilings. So I thought next maybe we'd head over to Founders Hall and uh, spend some time there and chatting. Let's go. Welcome to Founders Hall. Founders Hall was built in 1999 and it's been, to some extent, a center point of our Holy Ghost Prep campus. It houses our library, our computer labs, and a variety of classroom spaces. At the time, it was a state-of-the-art structure because of its sophistication and its technology. And yet, with the pace of change, it's remarkable what's happened in the past 20 to 22 years since it's been built. We begin to think about things like how do we rethink our computer science labs now that every student carries their own laptop and uses that laptop in almost every classroom setting? Do you really need computer labs any longer? And how has the library changed? And how do we need to rethink its function and its purpose as a learning commons, as a place for students to gather, to work in small groups and to work collaboratively? It seemed like everything we were aware of at the 20th century has now changed in a very short period of time. And it's an exciting time and an innovative time and a real joy to be a part of where Holy Ghost Prep is going to go into its future. All right, let's head over to the Holt Center, our uh, newest building on campus. Hey guys. Holt Center's coming up as we pass the Firebird Fieldhouse. That renovation occurred in 2004 and includes the Chapman Arena in honor of Tony Chapman. Over 40 plus years, that kind of dedication is also unique to Holy Ghost Prep. The longevity that faculty members have here, as well as the younger, newer faculty members who get excited not only about our tradition, but where our future is going. Welcome to our Holt Center, the newest building on campus. It houses many of our arts and athletic spaces. As you may know, it includes the Frederico Theater, which is for all of our performing arts, as well as a music instruction suite where we can provide all of our music students the opportunity to practice, to learn, and to perform. 
Furthermore, from an athletic standpoint, it includes the DePaulo Gymnasium, a place to work out for athletics, including baseball, basketball, and, and even, I guess, lacrosse. We also have batting cages that enable our students to take advantage of all of the spaces possible. And perhaps most importantly, as we grow, having a new program such as rowing housed here and our rowing room with 24 ergs makes all the difference in the world. One of the other unique things is that because of the pandemic, we now have this as classroom space. And that's a tricky thing when you have athletic and arts and activity space and we have to convert it to classrooms. But what it's done for us is it's given us the space to be able to spread out so that we can be full and in person as we wanna be. And thanks again for joining us today on this day, Holy Ghost Day, to experience the school as I experience it on a day and as our students experience it throughout the year. Once again, we're thrilled that you were here to join us and we hope to see you soon in one heart, in one mind, all on one day. Good morning and welcome back again to Holy Ghost Prep Day. Hopefully you just got back from our tour and really enjoyed seeing the campus and what we're thinking about and talking about as we look to the future of Holy Ghost Prep. We have a lot of great programming scheduled for you today. Hopefully you're following us in a variety of ways. Don't forget about us on social media throughout the day and we'll be returning for live streaming opportunities as well. This is going to be a wonderful day to celebrate Holy Ghost Prep engagement, giving, and supporting all that we do and all that we're involved in. And next, I think we're going to hear from our alumni board and some great content about what exactly Holy Ghost Prep Day is all about. So thanks for joining us and hope to see you again soon. Holy Ghost Day is about celebrating the rich tradition of our school that we have all built together and investing in the future to make sure that students for years to come get the chance to have the same top-notch education we did. It's a chance to look back on all the incredible memories we shared during our four years and think about the indelible imprint the school left on each of us as we pass through these halls. This day is also about encouraging our alumni to continue to stay in touch with Holy Ghost. There are so many ways to get involved. Come back for a visit. Think about becoming a class agent or joining the alumni board. Attend an alumni association event. Or make a donation to help fund the next generation of leaders to emerge from Holy Ghost. Thank you for being a part of our first ever Holy Ghost Day. Thank you for being a part of our first ever Holy Ghost Day. Enjoy reminiscing about the lessons you learned here and the friendships you formed here. We can't wait to see you again soon.